In the previous video, you learned how to solve simultaneous equations by substituting from one equation into the other. We're now going to look at a second method that we can use to solve simultaneous equations, and it is the method known as elimination. Now, the word eliminate actually means to get rid of, okay, or to make something disappear. So when we are solving equations by elimination, we want to get rid of one of our variables in an equation. And to do that, we need to remember that we can actually add or subtract equations together from each other or together. So you can take the left-hand sides and add them, or take the left-hand sides and subtract them, and you can do the same with the right-hand sides of the equation. And you've actually done this before when you converted recurring decimals into fractions. We actually, in that case, set up a system of two equations and we subtracted the one equation from the other. And what this does when we subtract two equations that have two variables is that provided we have exactly the same x term or exactly the same y term if we're solving an equation with x's and y's is that this can actually eliminate one of the variables and in doing so it leaves you with an equation that has only one variable and therefore you would be able to solve that equation. Now sometimes you might need to manipulate one of the equations first because if you think about it if you're going to subtract two, uh, two equations from each other you need the one of the variables to eliminate itself so it has to be exactly the same so you might need to multiply one of the equations by a number so that the coefficient of one of your variables is the same in both equations because if their coefficients are not the same when we subtract them or add them they're not going to eliminate each other so the coefficient is the um, coefficient of one of the variables is the same in both equations okay and I'm going to show you what I mean by that now okay so if we have a look at an example solve for the variables we've got 2x plus 3y minus 4 is equal to 0 let's call that equation 1 and we've got x plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0, and we're going to call that equation 2. Now, if I subtract the left-hand sides of these equations, I will have 2x subtract x, which is just x, and I will have 3y subtract 2y, which is y. So it's not going to eliminate an x or a y. But if I take equation 2, and I multiply equation 2 by 2, if I take all the terms and multiply them by 2, then I will get the x uh, terms in both equations to have the same coefficient. So equation 2 times 2 will be 2x plus 4y plus 2 and 0 multiplied by 2 is still 0. So now, if we now take equation 2 and we subtract equation 1, we will have 2x plus 4y plus 2, that's the left-hand side of this equation, and we need to minus the left-hand side of equation 1. So we will minus. We need to minus the whole of the left-hand side of equation 1. So it's important to put it into a bracket. And then on the right-hand side, we will just have 0 subtract 0, which remains a 0. If we now get rid of those brackets by distributing the negative into the brackets, the signs of all the terms in the brackets will change. And now you can see that the 2x minus the 2x gives you 0. If you hadn't started off by multiplying the equations through by 2, you wouldn't have been able to get those two things to add up to 0. Okay, so we're left with 4y, subtract 3y, which is y. 2 add 4 is 6. And that means that y is equal to negative 6. Uh, we now need to take that y value and substitute it back into one of our original equations. It doesn't matter which equation you choose to substitute it back into. I'm going to go into equation 2, the original equation 2. So that will give us x is equal to negative 2y minus 1, which will be negative 2 times negative 6 minus 1. Negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12. Positive 12 subtract 1 is 11. So we have now solved for both x and y by using an elimination method. 
There is another example for you to try in your homework book. So please pause the video and try. And I would like you to try to use the elimination method to solve this um, equation. Remembering that unless a question specifically asks you to use a particular method, you can choose whether you want to do substitution or elimination. But this question specifically wants you to use the elimination method. Right. If this is equation 1 and this is equation 2, our coefficients here are 3 and 14, and our coefficients here are 1 and 4. If we remember, we need to get one of our variables to have the same coefficient in both equations. So we are going to take equation 2, and we're going to need to multiply it by 3. So we will then have 3x minus 12y plus 3 is equal to 0. We can now take that equation and subtract equation 1. So we'll have 3x minus 12y plus 3 minus 3x minus 14y. If we simplify, <coughs> that gives us negative 3x plus 14y is equal to 0. The 3x minus the 3x is 0. Negative 12 add 14 is 2y. And if we minus 3 from both sides, we get y to be negative, uh, 2y to be negative 3. Divide both sides by 2, <coughs> and you get y to be negative 3 over 4. Sorry, negative 3 over 2. We now want to find our value of x. I'm going to substitute it back into this equation. If we just reorganize that equation, add 4y to both sides and subtract 1, you'll have 4 times negative 3 over 2 minus 1. 4 times negative 3 over 2, 2 goes into 4 twice, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, negative 6 subtract 1 is negative 7.